Okay, let's get started. <clears throat> Question one. The blank is the ratio of any two corresponding side lengths in similar figures. Well, enlargement is the ratio. That doesn't make sense. Reduction is the ratio. That doesn't make sense. Center of dilation. That's something you learn later on. Um, it's the scale factor. Scale factor is the ratio of two corresponding side lengths. Moving onward. Which of the following is a set of corresponding sides? Alright, so uh, as you can see, this is the shortest side here. Six goes with the shortest side here. Um, red. The next longest in length is this one. Next longest in length is this one. And then, of course, the longest in length is this side here and this side here. So color coding should help us out. All right, PR and SU. So PR and SU, those are both red. That looks good. How about PQ, this green side, with RQ? Well, they're both in the same uh, triangle. That doesn't make sense. How about PR and ST? So PR here and ST, that's a red and a green, that doesn't go together. And ST and RQ, ST is this one, RQ is this purple one, so there we go. First answer is the one that makes sense. <clears throat> Which of the following is a set of corresponding points? Well, we already kind of determined from the previous problem here um, that the left side goes with the left and the bottom goes with the bottom. They're it's oriented in the same direction. So, which point goes with which? So T and U. So T here and U can't correspond with something in its own triangle. Um, R and S, right? they don't correspond with each other, they don't go with each other. P and T, P is up here, T is down here, they are not corresponding sides. P and S, P here, S here, Yep, those are our corresponding sides. Sure. Next, what side corresponds to AB? Well, AB, oh, these are already color coded for us. AB is red, right? It's between this one hash mark and two hash mark. So that's going to correspond with DE or ED, depending on how you name it. So DE is the one that corresponds to AB. Moving onward, question five. What angle is corresponding to angle D? So angle D is the one here with the one hash mark. Angle A is the one that's here with the one hash mark. So these two are corresponding sides. Next, identify the side length in figure one that corresponds with MQ in figure two. So MQ in figure two is this. So that's going to correspond with, see how the shape is and all, with AE. Those are going to be our corresponding sides. So AE is our answer. Moving onward. Is figure B a scaled copy of figure A? All right. Um, I'm going to zoom in on this so that we can see these numbers a little bit better. So let's go to like 200%. All right. Is figure B a scale copy of figure A? Well, it looks like here, half of 20 is 10, so that's divided by 2, works there. 10 divided by 2 is 5, works there. 36 divided by 2 is 18, and 40 divided by 2 is 20. So, it looks like the scale factor is 1 half, times 1 half is the same as divided by 2. So, yes, it is a scaled copy of figure A. Let's go back to entire page. All right, here we go. Is figure B a scaled copy of figure A? I'm going to, once again, make this bigger so I can count. All right, we have this side here which looks like it corresponds there. So that is one, two units in length. This one is one, two, three, four units in length. So far, that's double. Let's check out the bottom piece. One. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
8 units in length down here and this one here is 1, 2, 3, 4 units in length. Okay, So far double 2 you get 4, double 4 you get 8, so far looks good. This piece up here, 1, 2, 3, 4, oops, sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 here, here is 1, 2, 3, once again, the top one is double, and this one you're going to have to just trust um, because of some other things in geometry, but the three sides that are given to you are double um, the length. If you take figure A times two, you're going to get figure B, which means this one will also be double the length of this one. I know we can't count it. Um, we could if you uh, knew something else called the Pythagorean theorem, but just trust me for right now. Would, wouldn't give you a question that you can't handle um, on the quiz. Next one. Let's go back to full screen. What is the scale factor from ABC to DEF? So from ABC to DEF. So we are going from this to that. So the question is, what do we have to multiply each side by to go from this to that? Well, it looks like it's getting bigger by a factor of 2. 10 times 2 is 20, 6 times 2 is 12, 7 times 2 is 14. So we, the scale factor is 2. If it was a uh, the other way around, from DEF to ABC, you're dividing by 2, so the scale factor would be times 1 half. But in this case, we're getting bigger, so we multiply by a number bigger than 1. We'll get to more of those in a little bit. All right, uh, let's zoom in on this one so we can see it better, shall we? As my son Charlie stands over my shoulder to make sure... Wow, back up, kid. Is figure B a scale copy of figure A? Well, let's look at this right here. This side appears to go with this side, and that is times 3. 4 times 3 is 12. And this side appears to go with that side, so I'm going to try the same number, times 3. 6 times 3 is not 14. Uh-oh. Right? Doesn't work there. So because it doesn't work, this is not a scale copy. Alright? Now it does work for 2 times 3 is 6, and 3 times 6.4 is going to be more than 18. So, because 3 times 6 is 18. So it doesn't work for this side and this side. So it is not a scaled copy. Moving onward, question 11. Is figure B a scaled copy? I know it's kind of a figure A. Right? Is it a scaled copy of figure A? So, let's look at the bottom side here. 1, 2. That's the short side of this rectangle. Well, that has to correspond with the short side of this rectangle. 1, 2, 3, 4. So it looks like this is double the length. Uh, figure B is double the length of figure A. Let's try the long side of figure A. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if this com comes out to be 10, you know that we have a scale copy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I just want to make sure I counted right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That I counted right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh-oh. This times 2 works here, but times 2 does not work there, so this is not a scale copy. Onwards. Question 12. Let's go back to a. Uh, uh, you know what? Let's kind of slide it to the side so we can see it better. All right. Figure B is a scale copy of figure A. What is the scale factor from A to B? So they're telling you it is a scale copy. So from A to B. Well, I'm going to start with the side that's 9. 9 times what gives me 3? Well, it's getting smaller, so it's times. A fraction. It turns out that it's times one third. 
right? Which is the same as dividing by three. Alright, so nine times one third is three. The bottom nine times one third is three. Now how about this one? Three point six. Well, times one third is the same as dividing by three. So three point six divided by three is going to give me one point two. So yeah, the scale factor is one third. Remember, it's what are you multiplying by? And make sure you keep in mind it's from from A to B. So to go from A, the larger one, to B, you have to multiply by a fraction. Let's look at question 13. Figure B is a scaled copy of figure A. What is the scale factor from figure A to B? So we're going from this large one to this smaller one. Well, let's see. To go from 4.4 .4 to 1.1, you're dividing by 4, so that's the same as multiplying by 1 fourth. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 4 divided by 4 is 1, so that's the same as times 1 fourth. And 6 times 1 fourth is 1.5. Let's see, 6 over 1 times 1 fourth comes out to, well, I'm going to simplify 6 and 4 to, 6 goes into, sorry, 2 goes into 4 twice, 2 goes into 6 3 times. So if I multiply across, I get 3 over 2, which is equal to 1 and 1 half, which is 1.5. So it looks like what we have to multiply each side by is 1 fourth um, to go from figure A to figure B. Question 14. Once again, figure B is a scaled copy of figure A. What is the scale factor from A to B? Well, from A to B, it looks like it is getting bigger. Well, what are we multiplying 7 by to get to 28 times 4? 16 times 4 is 64. 14 times 4 is 56. So the scale factor for this is 4. Remember, we're asked to go from A to B, and it's getting bigger, so we have to multiply by a factor that is bigger than 1. Figure B is a scaled copy. Once again, they're telling us these are scaled copies. They're not asking us if they are. What is the scale factor from figure A to figure B? So from A to B, it is getting bigger. It looks like, well, 22 goes with 44. It looks like it is doubling, so times 2. 40 times 2 is 80. 32 times 2 is 64. 10 times 2 is 20. So it looks like the scale factor for this problem is 2. Alright, hope that helped you out.